The Bardison Home Cocktail Machine. Is it any good? Let's find out. Stick around. Yo guys, what is going on? This is Michael, and today I'm doing a review of the Bardison Cocktail Machine. I've had it for about a year now, I've had a lot of time with it, and I've made a lot of drinks with it, so I thought I would share some of my thoughts. Uh, first of all, just to get into it, welcome to my new, uh, my new viewers and uh, my subscribers as well. Uh, typically on this channel, it's a review channel, and what I do is a specs and features, I do a demo of the product, and then I'll give an overall rating at the end and see if I recommend it or not. Uh, as we move on, no, I am not sponsored. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Bardison. I'm not sponsored by anything. Um, so all these opinions are unbiased. Well, they're biased to me because I'm the one that formed the opinion. Uh, but that being said, I do have affiliate links down below if you guys can click on those. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this product or any of the other products you see, uh, click on those. It helps out the channel when you do that. Um, anyway, so let's get right into it. The Bardison Cocktail Machine. Uh, it is basically a Keurig for cocktails, uh, which is a really cool idea. Uh, Bardison has quite a few different, uh, different types of machines. They have the Duet, which starts off at $249. They have the Premium, which is the one that I have here and I'll be showing off. Uh, and then they have the Professional as well. The Professional it has a little bit bigger of the uh, bottle size, so you don't have to replace it as often. And it has a tiered system. Also looks a little bit nicer and a little bit more polished. Um, but the Premium is kind of the mid-tier. That's the one that I have, and that is the one we will be working with. The price on it comes to about $355 for the premium. Sometimes you see it for $300, sometimes you see it a little bit more, just depending on what time of year and, and that type of thing as well. Um, one of the great things about it is the variety of cocktails that you can make. So when you purchase cocktails, it comes in these little guys right here. This is the uh, Vodka Lovers uh, collection. I also have the Whiskey Lovers uh, collection. And you get it and then you open it up and they all just come, all the pods just come packaged like this. They Here's the pod and basically they just come fitted in like that. And you can actually have a very wide variety with the types of drinks that they offer. Um, so here's a little bowl. I don't have many left again because I use them pretty often, but here's a little bowl that we use. Um, they do have like a, um, like a, 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 a organizer for this stuff, but I didn't find that it was necessary. So I just have a little bowl of the, uh, of the little K cups for lack of a better word, B cups. Cause it's Bardison maybe. Um, but yeah, so it, it's really convenient. Um, it comes with, uh, the machine here. It comes with all the bottles that you see. Uh, and then depending on different styles, there's different bundles. Some of them include cocktail shakers. Some of them include some pods and not others. And you kind of just, uh, have to, it's wherever you get it from. That's what the bundle that it's going to be coming with. So what I found is that Amazon has the best bundle. Um, and I've linked it down below so that you guys can uh, check it out. Um, the pros, the uh, cocktails taste really good. Uh, it, it tastes a lot better than you would think for crafting a home cocktail. Cause essentially what these are, right? This is, uh, this doesn't have any alcohol in it. This is just a mix, uh, that you would put alcohol into. So like basically, you know, if you'd go to any type of liquor store or anything like that, and you buy like margarita mix and stuff like that. Now I think they've perfected it and I think they uh, have done a really good job, but yeah, this doesn't have alcohol in it. That's why you need the Bartesian there to infuse the alcohol. Um, has a huge variety of drinks. I'm talking like dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of drinks on their website. So you can find something that you like. They have good uh, uh, multi-variety packs, which is what I have over here. The vodka one, the whiskey one. I don't think they have a rum one yet. That's also one I would be interested in. Uh, they might have come out with it now. But uh, anyway, at the time that I remember looking for it, they didn't have it. So, But they're always coming out with more and more drinks and everything. So that's actually really cool. Um, it looks really aesthetically cool. Uh, it it's got a premium feel to it, simple to use. The barcodes work really well, uh, basically in order to tell the machine which uh, alcohol to infuse, they scan the barcode and then it says, okay, do this much vodka and then do this much rum and that type of thing. So 
Um, barcodes work really well and the company produces new pods all the time. Uh, the cons, it's uh, got limited variety pack pods. So I wish the variety packs were more expansive. Again, as I was saying before, they didn't have a rum one. Uh, so it'd be cool if they had like a Christmas variety pack and stuff like that. And now again, the last time I checked was a, a couple months ago and this is a very new company. So they're constantly coming out with stuff. So they could have that uh, done already. Uh, drinks are not chilled when you come out. I mean, that'd be really hard to do and they have to put in like a coil in there or something and run it through. Um, but they're not chilled when you come out and it drips sometimes when you pour the pod. So I'm going to show you guys how I put the pod in, uh, and basically pull it down twice to fully pierce it. Otherwise it could spray out all over the place um, i've had definitely had that happen before um, but anyway so let's go ahead and get into the actual pod itself and uh, go ahead and do the demonstration um, so this is the uh, pod setup or the the bartesian setup i'm gonna go ahead and grab i think i'll grab a i'm gonna go grab a rum runner um, I do like I do like the rum runners a lot, especially on here. So as you can see, we're gonna pull this forward. Um, on the top, basically the way it's gonna work is I'm going to open this up right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my rum runner pod and push it in. Now before you close it, what I would recommend doing is grabbing your drink and putting it underneath. So I have my uh, glass here and some ice and i'm actually going to go ahead and uh put it underneath first so that way when it does crack it open it hopefully if it does spill it'll spill into the glass so what i'm going to do is make sure that this is all pushed down correctly and then i'm going to close it let's see you see how some of it came out already okay so i'm going to open it and then i'm going to pierce it one more time to make sure it's fully pierced in there um, and then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the top here. Oh, and it says add water. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water. I'll be right back. And then maybe to reset it, we just go ahead, let's go ahead and close this. And we'll open it and close again. And there we go. So now it's asking me to put in a highball or glass, uh, but I'm just gonna use whatever glass I have. And let's go ahead and move this back. That way you guys can see the actual drainage here. And we're gonna go ahead and tap next. And it's gonna ask me, has rum been installed? And rum is installed, so let's go ahead and go next. And then it's gonna ask me if I want it to be mocktail, light, regular, or strong. We're just gonna go with regular and we're gonna tell it to mix. And you can see the back being taken there. So it's pulling out the rum and now it's pulling out the vodka. You can see the vodka filling up and it's going to the top here. And that smells really good. And there we go, you have your cocktail. It's as easy as that. Um, bon appetit, let's see how it tastes. It's a good cocktail, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you could probably trick me into thinking that this was created at a bar for me. Um, it's, it's a good cocktail. It's definitely, if you don't, if you want the convenience of having cocktails like nightcaps or something at home, or just make a bunch of different types of drinks for your friends, uh, this is a good way to go. Um, I would also probably stir it a little bit just to make sure all the alcohol and all the juices get um, mixed thoroughly. But uh, yeah, this is a good cocktail. Actually, why don't we go ahead and try that? We're gonna go ahead and put it in here. And we'll go on mine. And that's better. Yeah, so you probably want to stir it a little bit just to make sure everything mixes correctly. Um, but yeah, it's a good cocktail and it's got a lot of variety. Um, if I was going to give this thing stars, uh, I'm, I think I'm giving it five stars. I mean, it's, it's really good cocktails. Uh, it's super easy. You just put it in and then the barcode scans correctly every time. Um, you just have to make sure you pierce it twice. That's the main thing. If you don't pierce it twice, it's probably going to spill out on you. 
Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you have one, would love to hear you hear about it down below. If you uh, don't have one, then I have links down below so you guys can pick them up. Um, anyway, please like and subscribe to the channel if you found any content here that you enjoyed. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, really appreciate it. If you found any of the content useful, please hit the like button down below. Also down below, there are gonna be links to all the products that you saw today. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links, so it really helps out the channel when you guys click on those. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it and uh, have a good rest of your day.